more to come and some surprises too as they embarked on their three test tour of Australia. More Australian line out ball, Ella, the Hawker, Gould on the burst, recovered by Slack. Ross Reynolds. Well, he scored one for the New South Wales side against the All Blacks, and he was on hand again. And the first try of the test match to Ross Reynolds. Another move from the Australian backs to, to skip out pass, and there it went astray. It's amazing how many tries to score when a move actually goes astray. There's a little chip from Andrew Slack. As it comes up, it bounces kindly for Reynolds, and he dives over in Mark Shaw's tackle. Andy Donald with the ball now. Alan Hewson quite close to him. Now Hewson with the drop kick. Looks useful. It is useful. Well, he's done it again. Cox feeding it up to Poitivan. Back to Cox again. To Ella. The tackle from Smith. Cox bursting. To the 22. Gould with a drop kick. So Roger Gould drop kicks the goal that gives Australia that advantage so the scrum is five meters outside the 22 Donald good shot from the Australians the All Blacks of course one short and I think it was Tom Lawton the wallaby hooker back to that three-point deficit they had at halftime. Tom Lawton has got the ball for Australia. Steve Cutler is number five will be waiting to get up there. Lawton. Cox to Ella. Doubling is, is Mark Ella. Brendan Moon. Moon. After 16-9 to Australia in Sydney, in Brisbane, the All Blacks had sorted out their line-out, and the brilliance of Mark Eller wasn't enough for Australia. There's Bryce Rope, the All Black coach. What a great start for his side. Six points down, 16 minutes gone. Cox to Eller, Hawker. Deans going back inside, he's 22. Campisi's not far away. Dean's in trouble. Well, he should have kicked it first time, I think, Graham. Alan Jones is very happy. But I think, uh, without doubt, Robbie Dean should have picked up the ball and booted it out. Now, Australia have a perfect scrum here. 15 metres in, they've got a big blind. Cox. Ella. Drop kick coming up. Elmer again. The conversion just a formality from right out in front. So Australia lead by 12 points to nil. All of the points from this man. Two penalties, a try and a conversion. And it's 12 all. 18 minutes to go in the test. Taylor, Deans is in. That's high, and is ruled as such. Here comes the replay, good pass from Taylor inside the short pass to Deans. We'll now see how high the tackle was. <laughs> it looked pretty high to me <laughs> from Andrew Slack. Plenty of noise for Deans to contend with. Never looked like missing. Five penalty goals to Robbie Deans. And for the first time in the match, the All Blacks are in front. 
Eight minutes to go in the game. Cox. Back to Ella. Slack. Oh, that's a poor pass. Moon grabbed it. All Blacks arriving quickly. Five metres out. Coming towards Donald. Andrew Donald. Mixed is there. Just a metre away. Donald again. To Bukhari. And the Australians got themselves into all sorts of trouble. The pressure was too great. Moon caught up, and then the All Black forwards in, and then the little flick pass from Andrew Donald, and Stephen Polkiri appearing out of nowhere gets the try. So one test all, the destiny of the Bledisloe Cup hinged on the third test back in Sydney. An epic series, and at the end, only one point separated the sides. Just part of this huge crowd here, and as you can see, much support for the All Blacks. Let's watch Murray make it from his first scrum. Know how effective he, he's been over the last couple of years. But I think it'll be a big shove from New Zealand. Donald running as a decoy. Mixed still holding. Shelford has it. Frank Shelford just three or four metres out. The All Blacks gather. Setting up now for Donald. To Smith. Mike Clamp. And Mike Clamp has his first test try. And that was a well-executed try. But again, I have to emphasize the quickness of the hands from Wayne Smith. Getting Brendan Moon to come and try and tackle him and stop the move. That was the right thing for Brendan Moon to, to do. But Clamp gets the try. But it's All Blacks ball. Perhaps a throw to Mexted at the back. Now it goes to Anderson at the front. Nicely delivered to Donald Smith. Looking for Green. Craig Green. Held it up nicely for Mexted. All Blacks controlling the ruck. Donald to Smith, overlap here, Green, Arthur Stone, yes, Arthur Stone. And it was the strength of Arthur Stone that did it. So now Australia have a chance to, they've split their back line with Hawker going to the right and Slack to the left and Roger Gould standing right behind the scrum. Fed by Cox. Held by Reynolds, driving as Poitavin. Ball went to the ground, came back though for Cox to Ella. Gould, Campisi with a chance. David Campisi. There was only one point in it at the moment. Perhaps uh, it's almost coming up to drop kick time for Wayne Smith. Steve Cutler again, standing right at the front with his arms raised. Controlled again by the All Blacks. The Australian through, offside. Fairly graphically illustrated. So Robbie Deans will attempt to make it penalty goal number five. Never looked like missing. And the All Blacks now that four-point margin after 25 minutes in the second half. Andy Dalton looking for Mixed at the back, taken in by Ashworth. Coming through was Jock Hobbs. Well, the All Blacks took it into the ball, suddenly came out the other way. And here's Mark Yellow. He's kicked four penalties so far this afternoon. Back to the one-point margin. And just eight minutes to go now in the series decider. Cutler went high, handed back. Will this be the drop kick? Mark Yellow. And it's all over. The All Blacks jubilant. Rice Rope, Dick Littlejohn, 